Okay, let's look and see what's going on with Biden today. Haven't looked into him for a while. Let's see how things are going with Biden. What's going on with President Biden? What is going on with President Biden? Okay. Okay. So ten of cups. Now, usually that's been my card for the Trumpian family. But in this case, this could be his concern, I think, more about um, people uh, getting through the COVID thing. They just got it through the House. They're going to try to get it through the Senate. Um, so just his wanting to... Um, be able to get along with people, make things better. Um, yeah, the challenge is getting things moved forward. Um, you know, slow going when he's trying to deal with the Senate. Um, so that's the challenge. The challenge is getting through the Senate. <laughs> we got it through the House. So we'll have to see what else is going on with things. Conscious thoughts are this walking away. Now, um, and going down the road, uh, I think this is uh, It feels more like the, the, where is he going? Where is he going in the future? Where are we going with this? Um, that we have a long road ahead of us, okay? That he's on this road and uh, again, going forward as best as he can. Subconscious thoughts, he knows that he has to be a person of strength. Um, a leader, uh, he, he wants to be uh, relaxed but firm, okay? Um, and I think it, this, this Eight of Cups is looking at the road ahead. I don't feel like he's wanting to walk away from things, but just trying to figure out where he's going for the future. He's got so many things to, to deal with. Um, <clears throat> The Iran stuff, he's got stuff with the MBS, he's got stuff with Putin, he's got, you know, the uh, things with the terrorists here, they're coming in. So he's got a lot of things on his plate that he's kind of trying to sit with and decide what direction uh, he's going. Um, in the past, yeah, the devil. Like I said, all these things that are so difficult that he's got coming up that he's got to deal with from the past that's still in play. Um, MBS, Putin, um, you know, this is not going to be the same thing as it was with Trump that would steamroll and just, you know, do their bidding you know, uh, but Biden's not going to do that, okay? So he's looking at all of these things there that, that, that the past that he has to clean up and has to be dealt with, okay? A short term, yeah, re-evaluating stuff. He's looking at this, how to go forward, what to walk away from, what to engage, how to engage it, um, <clears throat> How he sees himself, yeah, he's on the wheel. Things are turning. Um, like I said, a lot of stuff on his plate that, uh, that he sees that needs to be cleaned up, worked on, 
and uh, so that we can go forward. Some things he wants to see, again, walked away from, perhaps, um, and I think part of this has to do with this uh, terrorism that we've got. Um, you know, they're still planning another assault. Um, yeah. How others are seeing energy around this, that things are getting better, that he is taking things in hand. Uh, we have hope for this. Hope that things are going to continue to get better under him. Um, but, you know, we know there's a lot of work to be done. Hopes and fears. Okay. Um, I think it's still dealing with Trump. Nine of Cups, the merchant, and the devils above it. So I think it's still dealing with the Trumpian things. Um, those that are wanting to storm the Capitol, we know that there are still those that are wanting to plan another big assault. Uh, they, they've said, you know, they would like to kill as many as they could. Uh, so, you know, this is something that's really out there um, that has to be dealt with. Homegrown terrorism. Um, and dealing with Trump and dealing with these uh, supporters, okay? Um, the outcome is a lot of things, again, on the plate, a lot of things to look at that are coming forward. Which, which thing to deal with first? What to deal with first? Because there's just so much there that has to be uh, navigated through. Okay, um, further the future, I'm going to pull a clarifier for that, okay, um, yeah, the, the ending of this fragility, this, you know, I, I think this has to do with, uh, Trump himself, because that fragile ego that we've got going there, he's the most fragile ego on the planet. Yeah, and he just wants to get through this time. Um, he sees that it's still a concern uh, when it comes to uh, Trump and his sycophants that are still you know, QAnon, and they still continue with this. And uh, I don't think things are going to end until these uh, court cases come up and put an end to him. Um, when the court cases come up, he's convicted on, you know, RICO charges and all of that. Yeah, yeah, this, the ending, again, it has to do with Trump, the merchant, and the things that he's doing. Yeah, his fragile ego and trying to hold on to whatever he can hold on to. Um, going forward, he just wants to get the victory and be done with this so that we can move the country forward uh, in a better direction. So I think that part of it as well is um, concern yeah, he's trying to be temperate in, in what he's doing because there's so many things out here that have to be dealt with. Um, and I think part of the concern is for Republican Party. Yeah, where are we going, you know, with things? Um, just wanting to see things better on the up and up. Uh, because the Republican Party, it's like, what direction is this thing going as well? Uh, we have them, you know, just craziness. Craziness, the CPAC thing that they have going. Um, and you got ones like Mitch McConnell there, the snake, the old mud turtle, that uh, I'll support whoever you want, you know.
yeah, he, he encouraged the violence and everything, and uh, they're not done with him yet. But yeah, if you want him, I'll be totally supportive of it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So the craziness continues. So while we're on that, let's look at the mud turtle. Mitch McConnell, the old mud turtle that just never goes away. <laughs> he is the most two-faced. I mean, just whatever is it, whatever you want to hear, I'm going to tell you, you know, just so, so I can draw you in and get you to vote for me so I can keep my power base, okay? QAnon, yeah, fabulous. If that's going to keep me reelected, then QAnon, I'm all for you. You know, go deep state. Ooh, yeah. So what we have with him is uh, King of Swords. And I think this has to do with him wanting to stay in control. Challenges walking away, which went, again, that same direction, what direction am I going, okay? Uh, I, he, he knows truth, but he's willing the, the challenges to walk away from the truth, okay? He'll walk away from it. If I have to walk away from truth and, and support a lie, I'm willing to do that. I'll do whatever it takes to keep myself in the uh, manner I am accustomed to. Conscious thoughts, you know, that um, things are moving, but uh, moving slowly. Um, okay, he wants to see things moving faster, moving in a better direction, but it's, it's sluggish. You know, especially the stuff with this Trumpian thing. He knows in his heart of hearts that what Trump did was wrong, but he's willing to sell himself down the river to, to keep his base, okay? Subconsciously, he sees that things are um, coming in, okay? Um, they're going to be coming in pretty rapidly. Um, so I think he's just waiting to see which way these things go. He'll play it forever how, how long he needs to play it. Okay. Um, in the past, again, he knows what was wrong, but so he's open. He sees it for what it is. He's not blocking it. He just plays the game. Okay, he plays the game. Okay, coming up, <clears throat> we have some new information coming out, and I think this is <clears throat> having to do with CPAC. He's trying to look and see what's going to be said there, what's coming out, and then which way are we moving this ball? What are we, what are we doing with this? how he sees himself, okay? Really not happy with what's being served up. Um, again, trying to look and see what direction the repugly uglies are gonna go. The uh, energy surrounding, okay? Um, that things are gonna be moving and it's like, yeah, on the edge, they're trying to stay strong, but they're backed up. Repugly uglies are backed up on this cliff. They're staring at the, uh, the lion feels to be more like the repugly ugly uh, Trump supporters. The, the, you know, they got themselves in a position where they're crouched down and they've got this, this uh, cult that's over them. And so they're trying to maintain strength, but they are backed up 
on this cliff. Um, okay. Hopes and fears. Uh, I think the, they want something better. Okay, they want this to be unblocked. They want something better. But uh, I think some of the fear is ones like, um, you know, some of these women that, that what's her name, like uh, Green, like Green, these crazies, QAnon supporters that are up there, uh, ones like uh, Rebecca Mercer that are money behind it, you know, um, yeah, going forward, Queen of Pentacles, uh, there are these women involved in it, and they could be like Rebecca Mercer, ones behind the scenes that are money that are fueling this, okay, uh, going forward, yeah, um, He's wanting the past, <laughs> reflecting on the good old days, <clears throat> okay, looking for new money, new opportunity, and uh, again, uh, somebody else to come in. You know, this is a revolving, there's some women there that are that heading this up, because I keep getting the women card. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, okay? So there's somebody behind this in a position of power that's kind of running the show now, okay? Um, could be Rebecca Mercer, but it could be also somebody, uh, we've got Rebecca Mercer, we've got that other, what is it, the one that was the head of the Oath Keepers, so there are more women in these positions of power, but unfortunately, they've gone down this uh, rabbit hole uh, into this delusional stuff, and they are just keeping running this uh, party. Uh, so we'll have to watch and see what's coming up with that because it's just craziness, just craziness. So I'm going to leave this here for now, but much love and light. Thanks for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this, please give a thumbs up. I do so appreciate it. And thank you for spending time with me this morning. Love and light. Don't forget to continue to mask up. Be safe out there. I don't want to lose any of my viewers to COVID for sure. Please stay safe, and I'll see you online.